junk mail. For sale on the streets of Manteca, police say that scavengers are now rummaging through the trash and they're pulling out mail and they're selling it to identity thieves. Pretty crazy people would buy someone's trash. Police say that bags of junk mail are going for about $25 a piece and the thieves are using that information to open credit card accounts and other accounts in people's names. But we wanted to know how can junk mail be used to steal your identity? CBS 13's Anjali Hempel joins us live now from Manteca where she's getting answers. Shannon, there's already a state law that says it's illegal to go through someone's recycling. But tonight, the city of Manteca will consider similar rules for criminals who dig through your garbage. Junk mail again. You know the saying, one person's trash can be someone else's treasure. Yeah, it's pretty crazy people would buy someone's trash. Manteca Police Chief Nick Oblagacion says criminals do steal junk mail from your trash cans and can either sell it or use it themselves to steal your identity. While we think it may be $25 for just a bag, I mean, they could charge $1,000 worth of product, have it sent to an address, and you get the bail, you get the mail, and they get the product. We've had people coming into our yard, even into our backyard, cutting open our bags and ripping through all the trash. Gene Clinkenbeard says it happened to him. So earlier this year, we actually had a credit card put into our name, and we've had about $800 charged to it. If you take each individual piece, it may not be an issue, but if you take one particular can and you have multiple pieces of what we would say is junk mail, they can put those three pieces or four pieces or five pieces of mail together and come up with your identity. Abogacion says it's not just experienced hackers who can pull it off. Any criminal in the business of stealing can gain access. Uh, we've done search warrants on particular houses uh, for, uh, say for instance, drugs and we come across large bags of mail that's addressed to everybody except the people that are in the house. Police hope to make digging through someone else's garbage a crime, but Obligacion says you still have to take proactive steps to keep your personal information out of reach. And that's why it's very important to shred. Me personally, I shred everything with my name on it. Tonight is a first reading of that proposed ordinance. If approved, it could go into effect in January. Yeah, I've heard that from a lot of other people too, Anjali. Shred absolutely everything with your name on it. Don't okay. take any chances. Mm -hmm.